This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445214-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at j-e-n-n-i-f-e-r dot s-m-i-t-h, the number 2, at d-o-t dot s-t-a-t-e dot f-l dot u-s. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Sewanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline dot p a r a m o r e at d o t dot s t a t e dot f l dot u s. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location on the project website and in the meeting notifications. This project is located along State Road A1A in Brevard County and extends approximately 3.9 miles from north of Pineda Causeway, State Road 404, to south of Sherry Lee Lane, 36th Street. The surrounding property along the entire project limit is primarily owned by Patrick Space Force Base. The existing posted speed is 55 miles per hour for the majority of the project and 45 miles per hour approaching south of Sherry Lee Lane near the end of the project. Within the project limits, there are three signalized intersections and seven beach access parking lots located along the east side of State Road A1A. The goal of this project is to improve the roadway through repaving and construct safety improvements along the corridor. The project team has coordinated with local agencies including Brevard County, City of Melbourne, City of Cocoa Beach, Patrick Space Force Base, and the City of Satellite Beach about this project. The improvements we will show this evening are recommended solutions to achieve our goals. Your feedback is important to make sure these are the right improvements for the community. In addition to repaving the travel lanes, safety enhancements currently planned include improving and repaving the shoulders, replacing guardrail, and replacing the existing barrier wall near the lift station south of School Avenue. The project also proposes to replace about 0.7 miles of the existing two-way center turn lane from north of Pineda Causeway to School Avenue with a raised median. The raised median improves safety by separating the travel lanes. The new median is not changing access to any driveways or side streets. Several safety improvements have also been included at the Jupiter Street intersection at the request of local agencies. These include new sidewalk and curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities ADA standards, upgraded crosswalks and pedestrian signals, and new bus pads at the transit stop. There are two existing typical sections along State Road A1A. The first typical section, typical section number one, begins from north of Pineda Causeway to south of School Avenue. This section currently has two 10-foot wide travel lanes in each direction, and a 10-foot wide center two-way left turn lane. There are also four-foot wide paved shoulders on each side of the corridor and a five-foot wide sidewalk on the west side of State Road A1A. Within this section of State Road A1A, the existing 10-foot wide center two-way left turn lane would be replaced with a raised grass median with curb. There is a history of crashes in this area from vehicles crossing over the center lane. The new median will reduce the risk of serious head-on or angle crashes caused by vehicles crossing the center lane. An additional safety benefit includes avoiding unsafe U-turns along the corridor. There will be no changes in access for side streets or driveways. 
The second typical section along State Road A1A is from south of School Avenue to south of Sherry Lee Lane, 36th Street. The proposed improvements will maintain the existing roadway configuration, which includes two 12-foot-wide travel lanes in each direction, 4-foot-wide paved shoulders, and a 20-foot-wide grassed median. The existing asphalt will only be milled and resurfaced with new signing and pavement markings. Additionally, the department is evaluating different strategies that could help encourage safer driving speeds through the corridor and to help enhance pedestrian safety. Among the options under consideration are the addition of new pedestrian crossings equipped with a pedestrian activated signal, known as a pedestrian hybrid beacon or PHB. When activated by a pedestrian, the PHB provides a red signal phase that stops traffic to allow the pedestrian to cross safely. Another option is to change or extend the curb line in sections of the raised median to introduce a small curve in the travel lanes, which helps to slow traffic. Finally, at signalized intersections, the project is considering safe stopping areas for pedestrians within the median. These potential strategies are part of the FDOT's effort within its projects to consider all available tools to help make state roadways safer for all users. The project is currently in design to be completed in summer 2023. Construction is to begin in early 2024. The estimated design cost is $774,000 and the estimated construction cost is $5.6 million. To learn more about this project, you can go to www.cflroads.com, click on the search icon and enter the project number 445214-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. We encourage your input and feedback about this project and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by March 20, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to the project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445214-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at taleb.shams at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5231 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by March 20, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445214-1. Have a good evening.